Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Happy Birthday Lizmo at Nails of Lizmo Instagram collab, hosted by Tinkerbell 1970s and Tesla Day Nails. Our theme was Pink Tropical Pineapples. I've already got on Starry Blush as my base coat, and I'll be using the Drip Drop Nail Paint in the name of Tidy Whities as my base to get this one started. And I know that went by fast, but just use what white you have. Simple colors, OPI, color club, it don't matter. China glaze, whatever white you like. Put down a white base. I'm going to top that with I&M out the door. I want to make sure this dries really well. Oh, I've got white paint on my... That's the only thing about white paint is I always get it on my top coat brush and I wipe it off on a paper towel before I put it back in the bottle. I'll be using the Protect Me from Adored Colors just around the edges because I'm going to be doing some um, sponge smushy stamping uh, and so I don't have to run it up to my knuckle or way, you know, going crazy all over the place just to make sure I don't make too big of a mess. And I love this Adored Colors latex. It works really well. I've had really good luck with it. And it's reasonable. I think it's like $5 a bottle or something. It's like good stuffs. So, all right, we're going to let that dry. I'll be using Sweet and Sour Lacquer. I, Caramba. Beautiful yellow. And then this neon pink. Also Sweet and Sour Lacquer. Mmm, donuts. And I've got out a little makeup sponge that's I've got dampened with some water. i like load it up with water and squeeze out the excess and I'm just dabbing, 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 applying polish to the sponge. It's looking like a little domino. Okay, well I had to go ruin it. So I'm doing the pink and the yellow and I know I've done a similar mani, but I did different polishes. This is it's a whole different manicure here. I, I mean, you know, okay, it's different. So we're going to tap that into the nail, and I'm going to do that to two or three nails, and then I go back and try to, uh, well, I don't try to. I go back and I load it up some more with some more nail polish, <laughs> and I love these neon colors. In fact, I love this collection so much. It was the catchphrase collection from Sweet and Sour Lacquer that I loved it so much that when she re-released it, I guess last year or the year before, I don't remember when it happened. You guys know I can't keep up. Um, I bought a whole nother set of them because that's how much I love them. I use them for gradients and smushies and just straight up painting my nails with them a lot. So I knew that I needed to get in on her re-release of the catchphrase collection. I mean, come on. You got the Oh Homie and Pacifier Suck and all of them. They're all just gorgeous neons. Very nicely pigmented, just beautiful polishes. So, uh, yeah. So, we're barking out some neons today. So, I, I, I do love me some neons, especially from Sweet and Sour Lacquer. I love them very much. All right. So, this that's part's done. Let's get this latex off and get cleaned up so that we can head on into the rest. Now this is a very layered manicure, as you can see. I mean, we've had base coat, white, smushy gradient kind of stamping thing, and um, we're not even done yet. So I do have a little bit of latex stuck in my polish, in my cuticle. I'm using my tweezers to kind of scrape it up, I'm trying to get it off of there. I normally don't have this problem, so, but I, you know, I share all the struggle bus stuff with you. And once I got that cleaned up or off of there, I'm going in with my cleanup brush and I'm going around getting as much of it off as I can of my, on my skin. And I don't get all of it off. You guys, yellow polish for me is like getting mustard stains on your fingers. I, I'll see it for days, even with washing my hands. Now, there is a little bit of latex still stuck in a couple of places, and that was user error, but we're just going to keep on going. 
So I am using some cuticle cream. This is from Baroness X. And I'm, yeah, see, look at that yellow. All mustard looking under my nail. Um, I put some cuticle cream on so that when I go to stamp, it'll be easy. I am topping these with some Northern Lights. I have not used this in forever. It's a super fine, hollow topper. And I'm going to do two coats of it because I want just a little bit more of that on my nails. And there is a photo of that on its own. It's kind of like fairy dust from China Glaze. I'll be using my EDK like fruit plate. It's like fruit and drinks and stuff. I'm going to use this big pineapple image. And look, y'all, I can't find the other pineapple image. And it's taking me a minute. Oh, there it is. There she be. I'm going to use the Bases Loaded Lacquer on the black. And my Cube Stamper from Maniology. And my H. LaCosseldor Scraper. And we're going to get busy. So I'm going to use the like solid pineapples right here that I'm picking up. That's going to go on my accent nails on my thumb and my ring fingernail. And then the other image is going to go on the other nails. So get it all turned around. I've got, got to get a little piece of tape. There's some excess that I do not want. I think I got it. There we go. Pineapples. So I should have a hashtag down below for you to go check out um, the other manicures for Lismo's birthday collab. Okay, this plate is etched so well that it's just chewing up that cotton. So I'm running my finger over it really well, trying to get up as much as I can because I don't want no stringy cotton all up in my stamped image on my nails. Not for a collab. No thank you. Here we go. Scrape that off again. And this one's going on my ring fingernail. Looks very good. Came out really good. And stamp that down. Alright, so now to the solid pineapple image. I really like this one. It's like, oh, I'm so glad I have this stamping plate. Yay! I clean my stamper off on a lint roller, and I clean the plate with acetone. Um, I try not to use anything that's got any kind of oils or lotions or anything in it, because that just it just not good for cleaning stamping plates. Stamping plates, you guys. I promise I have not been drinking. I'm just having trouble talking. Um, clean that plate off again. I wipe it with a finger. I'm telling you, that plate is etched, y'all. It's solid. It's got some good etching on there. There we go. Picking up an image and plopping it on the nail. Okay. I'm going to do our little cleanup here. And, oh, it's stuck. And that's another handy thing for the little mat underneath. Because that plate was sticking to my silicone mat underneath. I am hopping in here with a piece of tape and get some of this excess stamping polish up. And we're going to break out our cleanup brush and some acetone. Now you could use regular nail polish for your cleanup here. That, that part is, is up to you. Um, but I, I like the acetone. I know it's more harsh, but it, it works way faster for me. And I've been into the acetone world for so long that I, I just, regular, regular nail polish remover just grosses me out. It's so oily and ugh. Okay, I'm going to top these with some smudge-free top coat. And I'm already in love with this one. I'm like, love. And once that's dry, I'm going in with my posh top coat. I'm going to seal this one in and call it to done. And I am super happy with it. Over the top happy. This is like a really bright, fun, in your face manicure. I like it. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Thank you. All right. Here is my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed this one. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.